Welcome back to Crochet Creations and Addictions number 161. This channel is all about my makes and what I'm working on and sometimes uh, collaborations on my channel with other people and um, challenges to those others that do the same craft as me like some knitting, some crochet, that kind of thing. So if you're into that, be sure and subscribe and like and all those things. And uh, today I have a glass of ice water because it's so hot. I don't really want to tape in the heat, but I have the fan directly on me. So I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to yell. <laughs> but I have a whole bunch of stuff to show. And some of you have seen some of the things that are finished, but... Um, I do have to show those of you that would like to purchase those those items. So we, we do an addictions video and do a wrap up of what's going on. It's usually two to three weeks in between. And I think it's been about 12 days since I've done one or longer. It could be. All right, so let's get let's get to it. I've been working on two blankets recently. One is a knitted, a granny square blanket it is the free pattern called flat wild flower blanket from the premier uh, website and that is knitted in the round it's like a granny square the yarn is the wild or you know it's like a, a flower pattern yarn so it is called bloom chunky it is a bulky five and it is supposed to have a pattern. Well, I've worked on it a little bit, so now we actually can see the pattern. I can't open it up all the way because it's on round circular needles and you keep going until you are finished. So you're gonna keep adding stitches, but look at how pretty. It's mostly white with blue flowers and this, um, colorway is called Sea Holly. So that's in the works. Somebody's going to love that whenever I get it finished. <laughs> and then I've started another one. And this one is done in a pattern um, stitch. So this is a, a one row repeat. It looks like a shell pattern. But it's basically just a single crochet and two doubles in the same stitch. And then you skip two and then you repeat. So that gives it a real textured look. And I have decided that I am going to, um, I'm going to use cream with it. I'm not going to use just the one one color. I've done enough of it. It's a Maginet by uh, Maginet Baby DK by James C. Brett. The softest. It's like a denim color with a brown and it comes out variegated. So I'm going to use a stripe pattern of 20 rows of the color and I think 10 rows of the cream color and then go back to the variegated again because um, it's it's going to be too busy if I don't do that. So that's that's my plan there. Okay, and then I also did a washcloth in that same pattern. I wanted to try it. It's 35 stitches. So what it is is it's three um, multiples of three plus one. So 35 stitches, single crochet in the second stitch from your hook, and then two doubles in the same stitch. Skip two, and then single crochet and two doubles in the next till you get to the end of your row. Then you're going to single crochet in the last stitch. Chain one, turn your work. Row two, you're gonna 
single crochet in the first single crochet, two doubles in the same stitch, and then do that in each single crochet all the way across. So you're skipping to the each single crochet. And then at the end, you'll single crochet in the last stitch. Again, chain one, turn your work. And I did 12 uh, repeats. So I, I did, I think, 24 rows, and it came out that, now why I use this was because I'm trying to match a color of a towel for my daughter for Christmas, so she has a matching set. And that towel has this brown tan color in it. So that's why I did that. Okay, so we'll move on now to, um, oh yes, I thought of something to use my baby yarn scraps for. And I'm going to announce that on the live on Sunday. I started something. It's in this right here. The scraps are in here. So everybody can get their scraps together. And, um, and it will be three light twos and threes. So no fours in this one. So twos and threes. So I have something for you guys for your scraps. Okay, and then we'll move on to the other baby items that I finished recently. So I believe I had this set started. I don't know if I showed it on an addictions or not, but I got a book and I'm going to do all the things in this book. So this is a cream color with speckles on it sweater. And this one is definitely the cutest thing I think I've I've I can't believe how cute this is. It has a very textured yoke, and it's um, it's, it's three month size, but zero to three months. And then a matching hat. And this set is available to purchase if you are interested. Just message me. And then a pair of cute little Mary Janes to top it off with a little blue flower so that set is ready to go all right so now I want to show you the next item I did out of that book this is a romper and it is again zero to th three months it closes at the bottom so it does go up over your their legs it's made out of cotton. It has two buttons with little pink flowers on. It's adorable. This one is also available to purchase if anyone is interested. And then I had made this sweater and I made it to go with a blanket that I was working on. The blanket is now done. So I'm going to show you that. That has baseball buttons on it. It's the cutest thing. So here's the blanket all done. It is quite a generous blanket. And this is a white, almost light blue cast with speckles. And then the darker solid blue for the border. And everything matches on that. And this is also available to purchase if anyone is interested in this one. So that's the matching set. I'm never going to get a get a, there we go. <laughs> Maybe that's going to be a thumbnail. I don't know. We'll find out in a little while. <laughs> Alright, so those I can put away now um, because I've shown them on the podcast and stuff. All right, now we're gonna go on to um, a drawing. So I had a drawing on the Webb's um, yarn haul that I had, and it was for some baby yarn. And so I went ahead and I put that YouTube HTP whatever into the YouTube comment picker. And then one of the girls from the group or guys will win their choice of the color of yarn from that video. So we're gonna go ahead and draw that. Let's see, who is it? 
Who is it? Who is it? It is Denise Hoffman. Congratulations, Denise. Way to go. She says she has a baby sweater started in the ombre hues. I want all the colors to make all the baby items. That light lavender is my favorite of the anthem colors, but the screaming lime green is also her jam. All right, so you had to tell me what color that you liked best out of that. And then that way now I can go ahead and pick some out of there that I want to work with. <laughs> so, because I had to wait, right? <laughs> All right, so then the last thing I want to talk about today is my hats, hats, and more hats for June. So what does that mean? I know a lot of you know that, what it means. Well, first of all, we need to remind everyone that there's always challenges going on on my Facebook group. The link is down below. Please join because that's where you post all your finishes and your pattern, your project, as you're working on it. And right now we have a cuddle along going on. So you make three baby items and you post them as you're making them for random draws. And there it is running June, July, and August. You have to have three finishes in those three months to qualify for the grand prize. So that's one. And then we have a sock along going on, which I haven't done anything on my socks recently, but we do have one. And I'm looking for you guys to post in that. And you find those challenges at the top of the page. You read the feature tabs and you find it and put your pictures inside the challenge so it's easy for me to draw winners. And one of the things we've been doing now for about four years, I believe, maybe longer, is hats, hats, and more hats. So every single month you make a hat, you finish it, and you post it for the month in the feature tab. And I always pick yarn where I make something with that yarn and you win the yarn that I'm using. So you will also get the same yarn. The yarn for this month was and is a Loops and Threads Facets. It is a beautiful color. This is the autumn color. And I am done with my hat now. It's 279 yards and a four medium, 100% acrylic. Isn't it gorgeous? So I will link the pattern below that I'm using. It's from the Searins Crochet Winter Hat. And here it is. And it came out looking like leaves. Isn't that gorgeous? This hat is also available to purchase. It has a pom-pom on it that is mauve. I thought it went pretty good. And you can remove this because it has a button inside that is holding. I wrapped it around three times. And so you can remove the pom-pom to wash your hat. But isn't that something? So it looks like autumn leaves. So I'm pretty happy with that. So if you're interested in joining in in any of the challenges, please do. If you want to help out on the channel, there is a link down below where you can join a, a, a membership for $2.99 and that will help me out with shipping because I'm always shipping out prizes because we have so many challenges going on. On the Sunday Live, I always give away little things and um, play a few games like this bracket game and things. I really hope that if you're crafty that you will join us. So for now, take a moment out of each day, be creative, and I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye for now.